Hello, I am Petro from Gullian Technology. Today I would like to show you how you can configure the time on a Cisco router or switch. So make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gullian.uk. Let's get started. It is very important to set up the time on every device in your network. In case of any issues, you will be able to check and troubleshoot the issue and you will be able to understand what exactly is happening. Without a proper time in place, you will not be sure when the, uh, the event took, uh, when the event happened and what you can do to address it. You will not be able to correlate the logs between different systems from your network. This is why it is very important to have the time configured and to ensure that it is working properly. I will use in my lab a Cisco switch as a NTP client and I will use a Linux machine as an NTP server. On a Cisco device you can configure the time in two modes. You can set up the clock manually and you can use it you can use the NTP protocol. First I will show you how to configure the time manually. I will lo I will log into my Cisco switch, I will run the SSH command, I enter the password, I will check, change the, oops, I forgot the password, Cisco. In order to set up the time, you can run the, clo the command clock set and specify the time. We need to specify the hour. Right now it's 07 15 00. After you need to specify the day of the month, today is 22 and the month is August. And in the end you need to specify the year. After you enter the command, you can check the if the time is set up on the device with the command show clock. As you can see, the system time is already in place on this device. If you want, you can add the keyword, the detail keyword for more details. Right now, as you can see, the time source is user configuration. <coughs> it is good to have uh, the time configured on the device, but it's better to use uh, and to use the NTP protocol uh, 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 on all the devices. Why is this important? Because if you set, you can set up the time, the clock manually on different device, and you can drift. You can have some uh, time drifting between the devices, and it will be harder for you to correlate. Uh, when the issue happened and how to, if it is related to a device or to the other. In order to address this issue, you can configure the NTP. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol. This is a protocol which is uh, used in, in order to synchronize the time between the uh, source and NT, uh, a clock, a source a clock master, which is uh, usually is an atomic clock and all our devices from the network. It is more reliable than configuring manual time on every device because the time is synchronized with the, uh, the, the NTP server and it is easier to troubleshoot the, when you have an issue and identify which device is uh, the, which event is the uh, root cause for the issue. In order to configure the NTP, you need to enter in uh, to change to the configuration to the config conf to configure terminal, and uh, here you need to specify the command NTP and specify the uh, address of the server. I will run the command NTP server, and I will add uh, an IP address. You can also specify. Uh, uh, domain name uh, NTP server this is all that you need to do in order to have uh, your device 
configured with NTP. Of course, you can add, uh, you can configure different other options. You can specify the authentication. You can specify the interface, the interface from which the messages will be sent. But as a starting point, you need to configure an NTP server. You can enter multiple NTP servers for uh, redundancy in case one server is not reachable. You, the device will use the second server. In order to verify if the NTP is running, you need to run the command show NTP status. As you can see, right now the clock is not synchronized and the stratum level is 16. This is because uh, the NTP server is not reachable. Let's do a ping to confirm that the NTP server is not reachable. As you can see, I am unable to reach that host. NTP, uh, the, 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 as you can see in the output, we have uh, some uh, stratum 16. The upper level of the stratum is 15. After that, it is considered that the uh, NTP server is not reachable, so stratum 16 means that you are not able to reach uh, the NTP server. Now I will, I did that by, I wanted to show you first how uh, you can check the NTP and what you can see when the NTP server is not reachable. You can also run the command show NTP associations. And right now, as you can see, we have the address of the NTP server, but it is only configured. It is not synchronized. We don't see the asterisk before the IP address. I will go back in the configuration mode and I will add, I, I'm using a different I will configure a different NTP server. I am running systemctl status NTP. I'm running the NTP server on my Ubuntu machine. As you can see, the uh, server, the service is active. It's in a running state. I will check the IP address of my machine, my Linux machine. The IP address is 172.16.10.150. I will go back to the switch and I will configure the command NTP server 172.16.10.150. This was the IP address. Yes, I will press enter and I will say the, co the configuration with uh, uh, you can ra uh, use the command wr or copy running config to start up config and press enter now let's check the status of the NTP as you can see the clock is synchronized stratum level is free and the reference the NTP server is 172.16.10.150 uh, 150 yes when we run the command show NTP associations you'll see that we have two uh, NTP servers into the list but the my switch is synchronized with the server 172.16.10.150 as you can see i have an asterisk before the ip address also if i run the command show clock uh, here you cannot see that it is the ntp is the source but if you add the keyword detail now you can see that uh, the time is the, it is 7 o'clock 23 minutes and the time source is NTP this is all that I wanted to show you in this video I hope you enjoy 
enjoyed watching it thank you for your time and see you next time